This is a very short video demonstrating how we can control the flex radio running Smart SDR with an external USB controller. My working conditions are a flex radio 6300 running Smart SDR 3.1.12, FR Stack 3 software and the Contour Shuttle Express USB controller. So this is the Shuttle Express controller. It's USB device, so it plugs straight into your PC and it automatically picks up the drivers. And you can use it with many different pieces of software, including browsing the web, reading your emails, Word documents, video editing, does lots and lots of things in addition to controlling the Smart SDR software. I'd just also like to say at this stage that I bought this from Amazon, so I'm in no way looking at promoting it or reselling it. So this is the end goal, to be able to control the flex using this uh, USB controller. So by literally turning this dial, we can change the VFO in increments of whatever you set the increments to be on Smart SDR. Either left or right makes you go either up or down. And then the ring around the, the center dial is a jog shuttle so the more we turn it the faster it goes so here we can see it going relatively slowly and then the further we turn it it will speed up and go faster and faster and again if we turn it to the right it will then go in the opposite direction it's a very smooth action it's also sprung loaded so it automatically goes back to the center and, um, and it's a nice weight as well. You actually feel like it's stable and it's not going to slide around your desk. So we've also got five buttons. Now I've programmed this button here to be my PTT, which is a latching button. So it will stay keyed as long as you don't unkey it. The second button I've got to be my tune button. So it will show me how well the ATU has performed. The third button is my ATU, so now you could see it going through the process of tuning. The fourth button mutes my headphones. And the last button I've programmed to mute or unmute the whole slice. So, let so in order to get this to work, what we need to do is load a free bit of software called FR Stack, which is a Flex Radio uh, companion utility. So I'm not going to bore you with how to set up FR Stack. Uh, there are many other videos out there that can explain that. However, I just want to show you a couple of the things that I need to um, enable in order to get it to do this job. So first of all, I've made it always on top. And then I've clicked um, to enable this meter. And the meter shows things like voltages and temperatures and stuff like that. I'll explain why I've enabled that in a few seconds. Now this software really acts as the interface between Smart SDR and the, the Shuttle Express. So what we're looking at doing is using the FR Stack software to map controls on the USB controller so that Smart SDR knows what to do. And this is the way I've got mine mapped out. So for instance, the PTT button within Smart SDR, within FR Stack is called MOX, and the keyboard shortcut that I've got assigned to that is F1. Okay, and all will become clear in a second. So here we are looking at the, uh, the shortcut editor within FR Stack, and as you'll see, various keys on your keyboard can be mapped to functions in Smart SDR. So you could choose that you want the tab button to be the PTT or the space button or something like that. It just enables you to control Smart SDR using the keyboards. So that is really what I'm using FR Stack to do. And you'll see that I've got keys mapped like the MOX command, which is the PTT. I could have um, mapped F1 to make the pan adapter wider or the RF tune power up or down. I'm just picking random things as I see them. So yeah, literally you can map a keyboard uh, action to a smart SDR action. So now we've got the mapping take place between Smart SDR and FR Stack. What we now need to do is 
program the software for Shuttle Express to talk to FR Stack. So within this application list here, we can choose whichever application that we want to control. And we can then custom define each key and control as we wish. So, you know, just scanning, scanning down there, you've got various different things. I've created my own for FR stack, for instance. And literally by doing that, we can custom control whatever settings that we want. So that's what I've called it. I've put a one at the front just so that it appears top of the list. So button number one, button number two, three, four, five, the jog left, jog right, and then the shuttle, whatever position that's in, even to the extent where you can say if the shuttle moves from position six to position five, do this. But if it moves from position six to position seven, do that. So it's very, very, very flexible, ultra customizable. So button number one, for instance, I've got to emulate a, key, a keystroke. So the keystroke in this particular situation, being the PTT button, is F1, because you'll remember that in FR stack, I programmed F1 to the MUX command. So you've got the ability to choose from um, the drop down menus and, uh, and just basically pick from the lists. You can even get it to emulate mouse controls, the wheel, the clicks, and all that kind of stuff, and also how regularly it does it. And you'll see that I used this um, in the jog shuttle for the VFO movement, and you can give it a, a, a custom title, for instance, just so that it's easy to remember. Uh, so here, again, you'll see button number two. I've got set to F2, which was the tune, Button number three, I've got set to F3, which was the ATU. Button four, I've got that one set. Ah, I haven't given it a name, so let's put a name in there. This was Headphone Mute. So I've already got it set to F4, so the mapping's correct. I just haven't given it a name. So we'll type that in now. And always click Apply. And then button number five, and I need to give that a name as well. And this was Slice Butte. And there we go. So that's the five buttons taken care of. Now let's look at the jog control, which literally we want to increment or decrement the VFO depending on which way we turn it, one step at a time. And as I say, the step increments you've actually defined already within Smart SDR. Now, the next one, this was a little bit more tricky for me to get my head around. This is the shuttle control. Now, the shuttle control has got seven different levels in each direction. So literally, if you turn it all the way to the, the, the left, which is number seven, then I wanted it to step down faster than if you only turned it to number one. So you'll see that the, um, the amount of times, the frequency there, is actually more the further towards the extreme that you go. F7 is always the same for any decrease in VFO, um, i.e. a turn to the left. But what you'll notice here in a second, when we start turning it to the right, it becomes F8 because F8 is to increase the frequency. I mentioned earlier that it was important to have the little meter window open um, within FR stack, and here it is at the top of my screen. Now, the reason why it's important is because we need to remember that the USB controller is talking to FR stack and not to Smart SDR. So what we need to do at the start is just to click on that meter window to bring it to the front in effect and then you'll have no problems if you don't follow that control command then this won't work although I've no longer got a flex that runs power SDR I'm sure I remember the ability to map shortcuts and if 
that is the correct case, then there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do this or something similar with the Flex 3000, 5000 and 1500 running Power SDR. So, I hope you found the video useful and if you did, you may also enjoy watching some of my other videos. Uh, why not go ahead and click subscribe and then you'll be notified whenever I make new videos in the future. Anyway, for now, appreciate your time. Thanks very much for watching. I look forward to any comments that you've got and I'll try to answer as many questions as I possibly can. Take care for now. Enjoy radio and 7.3. Bye bye.